Hey, how's it going? Long time no see. So speaking of seeing things, I've been watching a lot of YouTube and I've been seeing a pretty frequent trend in videos talking about or relating to should you start a photography channel in 2022 or don't start a photography channel in 2022, somewhere along those lines. It started to make me wonder if I made a mistake. I've also been listening to Tom Buck's podcast and I'll put a link in the description below, but specifically the episode that I'm referring to and just got done listening to is called It's Just For YouTube. That episode kind of confirmed some thoughts that I'd already been having that I keep trying to justify my existence on YouTube. Now, in this episode, Tom was talking about how a commenter had posted something along the lines of, well, why do you have all this expensive gear? Why do you need to upgrade all of this gear when you're just doing it for YouTube? And in a very long story short, uh, Tom said, well, because it's for YouTube, what does it really matter? I don't need to make short films. I don't need to make documentaries. I don't need to do anything of grandiose nature in order to justify why I have the gear I have or why I create the videos that I create. And so it really got me thinking and uh, it came at a really good time because uh, over the past couple of weeks, I've actually been having that thought of why am I really on YouTube? I came to the conclusion that the reason I'm on YouTube is because I like sharing photos with you. Now in the next couple of weeks, I'm gonna be starting a 365 day, one photo a day challenge in celebration of my one year in photography. I'm also doing this challenge because I wanna start training my brain to look at the world around me and to instill the thought of continuing to shoot for me and not just setting aside time to go out to shoot for YouTube or for others to try and make a little bit of money on the side, which I haven't done a whole heck of a lot of, but I've found that lately that's kind of where things have been steering me. While I'm going through this one photo a day journey, I'm going to try and do shorter videos more often instead of a weekly video that's cataloged days or weekends or big events. I'm also going to try not to get worked up or hyper focus on making it as perfect or as polished as possible. Just creating the video and sharing the experience of the moment with others that would like to come along. I'm talking about you, by the way. Thank you for subscribing. The new norm for these videos will be, in the words of Heather Ramirez, to just create more, have fun, and move at my own pace and in my own way. All while I explore the opportunities that will mold me into whatever I may become. So with that all being said, and to bring it back full circle, is it a good idea to start a photography channel in 2022? Or should you start a photography channel in 2022? And the answer is really simple. Do whatever you want. If you wanna share your journey in photography, if you want to start a channel that talks about computers and tech, if you want to start a cooking channel on YouTube, it doesn't matter. If you have something that you're so passionate about that you just wanna share with others, or maybe you just want to document and put on a platform for hopefully ever. Go do it. Buy gear that is within your budget. Go enjoy life. Share whatever adventure you want to share in. And ultimately, just have fun. Thanks again for joining me in my photo journey and my exploration of YouTube and sharing what I'm extremely passionate about and love to have fun with. If you like this video and you're not a subscriber, please think about subscribing and check out these ones.
check out the videos, like, subscribe, comment if you want to continue the conversation, and I'll see y'all for the next video. Later.